Mr. George actually gave me the idea. Oh, okay. He was like, yeah. he asked if I could because uh, my dad and like, Can you do it with like, him? Like, oh, oh, yeah. To where the magnet is. It was made by NASA during like the early days of like science experimenting to control liquids in outer space because there's no gravity when you're on a rocket ship, right? So once you eat or drink, the water doesn't go down inside you. It floats because there's no gravity. So they wanted to experiment on how to see how can we control liquids in outer space. So during the experiments, they created something which is called ferrofluid, which it's like a magnet, and if you were to take a magnet to it, it will control and see where the magnet is and go towards it. This was many of the ways of how NASA tried to like experiment and try to understand how to control liquids in outer space. When you have a very, very strong magnet, it separates the liquid and the magnet. Our first step is the gravel, which actually clears out the large sediments like rocks and twigs. And our second layer is sand, which actually clears out smaller sediments like soil. And our third layer is charcoal, which clears out toxic substances. So this can be used as like a survival skill. Let's say you are trapped in the wilderness or something. You can actually use basic materials like sand and gravel and charcoal you can find in the woods and actually clear your water because as our motto is, water is life. <laughs> so it's a small vacuum cleaner you can use as uh, your car in your car and also in, uh, in the school or classroom. If you want to clean your desks, if you make your desks mess, you know, so this one is useful for cleaning the some piece of small, small paper like that. So I can show something to you. Like this. So this one is very convenient. So uh, if you want to clean something, so That, uh, because this is such a quick method, the accuracy might be so low because it didn't take consider as uh, in any, I mean, ages or what is your body posture. Um, this is a water fountain. As you can see on the top is a glass and this is a plastic container. So if we turn on the electricity, the water will come up and turn back again. <laughs> Our project is about DNA and we have three models here. This one is a normal DNA and uh, these two indicate uh, two dynamic process of DNA transformation. The uh, reason why the plants are able to stay where it is is because of the uh, cell walls. Because of the cell walls, the plants are able to re remain their shape and it stays stable at rest like that. And we're the reason why scientists are always focused on cells is because it's a fundamental part of our body. We are like big Lego cars, and those small cells are our fragments to build up our body. And the reason why it's called cells. So it's composed. Yeah. 
Yeah, so nylon is in many things like clothes or toothbrushes, rolls, or carpets. And um, like a face mask. Basically, although they can be very polymer, they try and use as little as they can to help the earth and slow down climate change. Uh, this room is all about some fun games based on psychology. So we are looking for how your brain is processing, how long is your short term memory. A lot of the students were a little hesitant at first to participate in this because it's extra work and it's, it can be very tiring to uh, present the same thing so many times to different students. Um, but they did come through and they did put their best effort into their work. Most of the things what we made is thrown out of, I mean, classrooms like used pen, used bottles, all those things we took. And uh, of course, the students did the major job. Our caption of the expo was Ignite Young Minds. And I believe we did justice to that uh, caption. We tried to ignite the mind of young kids. And once again, thank you very much for each and every staff member, every student, and the school community to providing us support for this one. Thank you very much. <laughs>